Okay, so welcome back guys. We're back at Extraordinary World, right here in the heart of Victoria Island. And today I'm chilling with someone who's taken a short break from the industry, but has been known to make some sweet, sweet jollof music and have a thing for fine, fine, fine ladies. What's up, what's up? What's Where's up? the name from Onu? Where's How do we get Okay, so for people that don't know, yeah. what is your real name? Um Shola. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my real name is Chucky Jerome. And those men. We're gonna tackle this <laughs> Jerome. Where did this Jerome come from? Oh, that's my confirmation. Eh? Okay, I'm gonna talk about that in a bit. We'll come Aye. back to that. So, how did we go from Chucky to Link? Um, I've asked this question so many times, but let me just um, rephrase it. Like, back in the day when I was in high school, I used to be the, the guy with the most links. I used to be the plug. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever you needed, I got it. You know what I mean? So, I used to link. I think people, you know, can you link me? Back then, I used to sell Timbaland. And, okay. You know, I used to make mix CDs at home and take them to school. And so I used to sell my lunch. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying. So I was the link up man. And that's where the name Lynx came from. And then the funniest thing is the name has actually evolved. But let's get, I'll tell you that when you ask me a certain question that I know you're going to ask me. How do you know I'm not, I'm going to ask you the question? Because it's the juice, just, man. Just, well, if you don't squeeze the juice out of me, I want I want to have that juice. So just tell me the evolution of Lynx. Um, well, right now, I link people up with, with the big G. You know what I'm saying? With the man upstairs. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to ask you that question. Yeah, you know I'm saying? I am, so, I am so sorry. Yeah. I'll, I'll get to that. Okay, right. I like where this is going. All right, let's talk about your family. Okay. So you're the last born of six children. Yes. And you're the only son. Yes, but let me explain that to you. Okay. So I was supposed to be the first. And then as a gentleman, I was like, Ladies oh. first five times. Oh, okay. And, and then I showed up. That makes sense. So yeah. you're a real ladies man then? I mean, you're trying to boom me in the box now. No, you were talking about, so I'm just, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, just here. I'm a gentleman. Now. Okay. Yeah, so I'm a okay. gentleman, yeah. So being around five sisters and of course your mother, yeah. would you say like, you're, you know what women want in your, in tune with your feminine side or? Yeah, I mean, I do understand you guys a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I understand the, the craziness, I understand the balance, I understand. I literally, the thing is like certain things guys don't know that I have to tell guys. I'm like, okay, you probably come from a family where you just have brothers, so mm. you don't understand that you shouldn't touch a lady's hair. You know what I'm saying? I know that's right. Or sometimes I see guys be like, ah. I'm like, guy, this is the easiest express to fight, trust exactly. me. You know what I'm saying? But, other than that, like I, I grew up with five sisters, man. So I know how women are wired. I know what you guys want, and okay. you know, so, so you know, you know what women want. Interesting. You know what I mean? Let's talk. About, actually, <laughs> no, I, so you grew up around all these women. Are you a mommy's yeah. boy? Um, I think I am. To be honest, like Aww. I love my mother. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, I wouldn't deny. It. Let me know before me gangster here. Yeah. Aww. I love mama. I love you. Aww. Hold it down. PFP, hold it down. <laughs> All right, yeah. so being around your sisters, do you think, do, do you ever wish that you had like a brother or like a male? Um, to... to be honest, I don't, you know, because I had like my cousin. My cousin played that role in my life, like growing up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I kind of had that balance and I was, I went to KC, man. So it was just all. The infamous. All mandem, around mandem, you get me? So, you know, there was no, I wasn't lacking any of that stuff. And my dad as well, man. He did an amazing job okay. at, you know, raising me in a very strict way to understand what life is about and to be a man, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Pops, Shout out to you. Okay, let's talk about you being a ladies man, because you did touch on that. Cause I know you like these fine, fine, fine ladies. Ah, uh. uh, how uh. do you know? <laughs> All right, so there's, what exactly do you want to know? There's been a then, huh? few fine ladies that you've been linked to. Yeah, links. <laughs> Linkers, links to the okay? Link I mean, up man. I can never dodge this question. So go okay. ahead. <laughs> so I'm gonna say a few names. You just All tell, right. you just tell me what it is or what it ain't. All right, cool. Okay, first person. The fine, fine. Chidima. <laughs> That's my crush. You know, that was my crush. You know, um, 
Why are you blushing? Oh my god, guys. I need this seat, please. Because really? yeah, mercy. Really? Um, <laughs> yeah, man, I think, you know, Chisma has an amazing um, spirit. She has an amazing voice. And for somebody in such a small, petite body, like, she has a very big personality mm. and a very big voice. So, you know, it's a track. You know, shout out to Chisma. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to Chidima. Mm. Stephanie Coca. Oh, this oh. was very interesting. Um, Stephanie and I did a video together, um, My Place. Um, about two years ago, and as, as, I think because nobody really knows my business like that, um, any female they see me take a picture with or do a video with, it becomes I'm linked to that person, you know. So that was all it was. It was a, a video, but you know, um, this rumor helped us sell the market. So, okay, so you just kind of so played thank you bit. guys very much. Uh, so there was no no truth behind it. Nah, huh? man, all lies, boy. All right, I hear that. Yeah. Still. Okay, the lovely Genevieve. Hey, that's that's my homie, man. Um, I don't know what to say, man. That's 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 the homie. Like Genevieve and I go way back to like 2005. You know, um, we're family friends as well. So. Oh, okay. Okay, so that means your family <laughs> friends, does that mean? Shout out to Jenny too, man. Like, ah, Lee. Okay. One links. One link. One link. One man. All these huh? fine, fine, fine ladies. One person. It's What's not fair. What's gonna do, man? Can you imagine? Damn. Okay, last fine lady on my list. Yeah. Is the beautiful designer. Yeah. So, you for you. Okay. And what are you asking? We about? heard you were dating. We heard that was your girlfriend for a while. What was the juice behind that? This one is apple juice, so <laughs> no. I thought it was orange juice. You like all juice. All juice is fine. Okay. Um, yeah, I told you for you and I. That's all I can say. Alright. <laughs> you, you and her are... That's all are I can say, Are you still say, together? Man. Did I answer you anything? Well, I mean, you haven't... And when we do part two of this juice, maybe I'll answer this final question, but i just leave it at told you for you and I are... Dot, dot, dot. To be continued. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. All right. Let's talk about your walk with the man upstairs. Hmm. Last year, you yeah. found God. Yeah, I did. I'm actually really happy to hear that. Really, really happy <laughs> because, I mean, you went from posting nyash. Who is <laughs> <laughs> now? Voluptuous ladies and to posting about God. I mean, that's a yeah. huge transition. How did that happen? Um, okay, I got, I got arrested last year. Oh. Not by police. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but by the Holy Spirit. Um, last year, August. Okay. And um, there was nothing I could do about it. So literally what that means is I got called by God. And when you, got, when you get called, um, you have to literally leave everything you're doing and follow. You know, like in the Bible when Jesus was walking and Peter was inside the boat, I said, Peter, follow me. And Peter's father was inside the boat and he got up and left and followed him. You know what I'm saying? That's literally what happened to me. I took a break from the music industry in 2000, and, or hiatus, if I say, in 2013, when finally it blew because even after all that success, like I was still unfulfilled with what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like my career was cool. I was making money, I was doing shows. I just bagged like two big endorsements at the time, but the emptiness was there, you get me? So I actually went to London for like three months. I was there by myself in the house and I was just trying to figure out what's next. Like, what can I do that will make my soul happy? And that's when I started searching and I didn't realize where I was heading to till 2015 when I encountered the Holy Spirit and he <clears throat> showed me my life and everything was empty after all the success. So I just surrendered my life to Christ. And ever since then, I've been working in purpose and, you know, like knowing God revealed to me why I'm here. He revealed to me what I'm supposed to be doing with the platform that he had given me. And um, everything we're given in life is supposed to be of service to mankind in glorification to God. So for me, like me being an artist is a privilege. I love it. I love it. So having said that, Things, okay, so you're living right at the moment. So would you say, are you celibate at the moment? Very celibate, like super celibate. Okay, and I've heard you stopped drinking and... That was ages that. ago, actually. Okay, was yeah, that, before that was before you gave your life? Way before. Okay. Way before. So musically, you dropped a, a single last yeah. week called Serve You. 
right which is talking about serving and living for christ yeah um in one of the lyrics she said was um i was living life on the edge yeah. you know boy is not a year old uh, yeah. 2015 man i found god I was living on the edge, homie. Yeah. Back then, boys know they hear what. I just the groove, I know they sent what nobody told me. Huh? So, so booze every day, brother. Thank God for my dear mother. Are you saying that basically you knew what you were doing was wrong, but you was, had in the back of your mind, like you were. Okay, I was spiritually blind. Okay. And that means you've heard that something is not good, but you don't care. Because you feel like you have that state of mind that one day I shall have package. But for now, shall let's groove. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when you're spiritually blind, you, you're, you're living a lie. You know what I'm saying? Because back then, like, it was all about me. It was not about anybody else. It, was, it wasn't about God. It was just about what I could do and, and used to please myself. So would you say you're more, you're coming back as a gospel artist or no? <laughs> I knew this question Whoa. was coming. So so what are you still gonna um, make secular music? How are you gonna balance? How you yeah, I am. Let me explain it to you. Music, irrespective of the bracket you put it in, irrespective of the bracket you put music in, the message is what makes it music. I have other spiritual songs on my project, but not everything is like that. I'm not a gospel artist because I don't think I was called to be one. I'm called to be a voice for my generation. So even if I'm talking about love, there's going to be something you can take from it. Right. So, okay. Cool. Yeah. Let me go back to your album. You okay. were saying that you're having an album coming out, right? Yeah. What's it called? Um, I actually have two albums. So one is okay. called The Album Before The Album, which is the album before the main album. Why do you have to be so <laughs> technical? I've Why? been out of the game three years, man. I need to, like my fans Let's come back need, with a band. My fans need music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, we're already halfway through the year. My plan was to drop both this year in a space of time, but like being realistic, six months left, there's so much I can release. So um, right now, Survey is out. The, the response is amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm, like I really appreciate everybody who has, you know, reached out to me. It's a lot of people. I really like the song, by the <laughs> way, just saying. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. And um, up next, I have, you know, a commercial song coming out because you know people still want to dance mm. to links mm -hmm. you know so i'm going to give them something to dance to and then the album comes out now when the album comes out you can listen and soak in the real essence and the experience of you know my transition and where mm -hmm. i'm at right now because the stories are on the album and then my main body of work is called the evolution so that's the album after the album yeah the okay. evolution and that comes out that'll probably come out next year because there's no time anymore this year but you know, um, I guarantee my fans like there's no breaks in releasing songs. There's no breaks in the videos. There's no hey, I'm, links is back. Oh boy, I don't for them. He's coming yeah. back. <laughs> yeah, okay, saying. so can we expect any features on the album? Any? Yeah, man. Um, shout out to my boy, Mr. Easy. We have three hey, records. Mr. We have, e. Hey, Mr. Easy. We have three records together. I you know, like it. Um, me and Banky have a record. Oh. Um, me and my label mates, Nedu Blink. Hey. And um. Icon, we have records together. Um, I have a record with Shady. Okay. Um, I have a record with El from Ghana. And these are all on the album. Yeah, this is on the album I'm about to release. So the album before the album. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, on the main album, I don't want to even t go into that. Yeah, let's face this one first. Give us a little. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, but like that that the the evolution album is actually like my audio biography because like I like I. I let out a lot of things that people don't really know. As of January, I had like so many plans, timelines, knocked everything up. Album's been ready since January. This one I'm so, about to release. So when is it coming out officially? It's coming out in July. July. Whether you are ready or not, July. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, I'm saying so July is coming out for sure. So what can we expect from you in the future? Man, there's so much. Like, you know, um, I am trying to, you know, help a lot of the, you know, less privileged and stuff like that. So I have a foundation. It's called the Inspiration Foundation. Okay. What's and that about? it's it's pretty much for the youth and trying to put people through school and feeding whole, um, orphanages and stuff like that. Um, I've been doing that in the past, but like right now, I want to take it to the next level. You know, um, in terms of funding and in terms of the amount of people's lives that you know we touch. And I really want to take people to school and 
help them develop skills so they can become something. You know what I mean? So um, my foundation is there. Um, a few people have reached out to me to come and speak at certain things. So, you know, there's a lot of philanthropic um, things in the works as well. You know, so I'm just, I'm just excited. Man. I'm, just I'm excited. excited for you and I'm excited to see that. how this journey will go. Yeah. So I will be watching. I and I will that. be praying for you as well. Uh, and I pray that God takes you to higher heights. Amen. Amen. Receive it. I pray for you. Capture it. Hey. 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 <laughs> okay, so what's your sign out message for the people watching at home? Oh, man. I, I really want to encourage people to, you know, try and take some time out to li literally listen to God. And let him tell you why you're here. Let him tell you what you're supposed to be doing and let him tell you what you need to let go of to focus on what you need to acquire. When I leave, I don't want to be known for fine, fine lady. I want to be known for touching lives. I want to be known for what I contributed to people's lives. I want to be known for setting a standard and, you know, I want to be known for real things that are not frivolous. All right, cool. So I understand you bought a gift for one of your lucky fans. Yeah, I brought a couple hats. Excellent. So if you want to win the hats that Lynx has brought in today, make sure you subscribe to Indani TV and follow us on social media, Indani TV on Twitter and Instagram to find out the question. Up to the guest. Hey. Hey. hey cut it. Cut it. Hey. Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> Alright, thank you for coming. No it's doubt, been a no pleasure. Doubt, no I look doubt. forward to your album and I look forward to seeing everything that comes forth this year from you. Yeah, and I wish you, you all much. the best. And like I said, I will be praying for you. Thank you, thank and you. And don't you. be a stranger to the show. Oh thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for coming. And go download my single on iTunes, guys. You cut before I said that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Files, aka Files the Bad Guy. Well, in today's lesson, I will teach you how to subscribe to the Indani TV channel. All you have to do is click on this. So simple, straightforward.